third performance. Um, we've been cycling for three days now, maybe four. Um, we started out at a place called Brookstock, just outside of Leicester. We've gone by Leicester, we've gone by Coventry, and now we're here, which is a pretty cool place. It's fast well. Um, Atasha is a Swahili project, and it's a Swahili word meaning reason to dream. And the Atasha project started off in Canada about six years ago. Uh, whereby a couple of young Canadian girls are on a gap year and they travel through Africa on their journeys and whilst they were there they noticed a, a slight imbalance in the way that they live and, um, and the way that other people in the world were living. And so when they got back to Canada they realised that they were continuing uh, their old habits on when they got back and they decided they wanted to change this. And they wanted to spread the message and the best way they could think of spreading that message was to create a play. Now, not only did they think they'd create a play, they thought they'd find 30 other people and they'd all saddle up on bikes and start riding for about six months across Canada. And they've done this, and there have since been 20, 20 attention projects in Canada, uh, and it's become a worldwide movement. We've got, um, we've got Atasia Australia, um, and now this is uh, the first ever Atasia UK tour. Actually, it's the second. I'm sorry, it's the second. We had one earlier which happened in the southwest, and we've got one now happening here in the Midlands, and so uh, we're on the move, basically. So, this, as I said, is our third performance. Uh, none of us, I should note, are professional actors. Some of us have never acted. Some of us have never ridden bicycles for the sheer many miles that we've been travelling. But uh, we all believe it's one of the best things we can be doing right at this moment. And so, without further ado, uh, I'm going to go to sleep. And I think it's the play will begin. In an ordinary street, in an ordinary town, an extraordinary day is about to begin. The world around us is changing faster than we can possibly imagine. And life is about to change for one little girl, Jilly, a girl like any other. Okay, let's meet 
meet our contestants, contestant number one! Yeah. Hello, Jilly! Hi, hi. Hi, uh, my name's Talula. I'm a blue and sparkly dress from a high street store. I'm cheap, but I'm very cheerful, and I really think that we would make a perfect match. Oh, she sounds cheap, do not she? Nice, definitely an option, yeah. And contestant number two! Hi, my name's Marilyn. I'm a 1950s vintage dress. If you pick me, Jilly, your curves will look gorgeous. Ooh, look at that. That's interesting. That's and contestant number three. Yeah. Hi, Jilly. I'm Frankie Harry. I'm an ethically made top. I may be harder to find, but I'm worth the search. Yeah. He's starting like a strong sense of time. You like him, don't you? Don't you, Jilly? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, would you like to ask our contestant some questions? Yeah, yeah okay, please, Silly, yeah. Uh, contestant number one, if we're going to have a relationship, and I need to know your, your history, where, where do you come from? Where were you made? Um, well, it's true that I, I may have a rather checkered past. It's quite possible that, like many of other millions of clothes in the world, I may have been made by child labour in a sweatshop working for really low wages all through the night. But, hey, when you look this good, what does it matter? No pain, no gain. Oh, oh dear. Sounds like Atalula might have been made by one of the 250,000 children working their little fingers to the bone in sweatshops. Oh, dear. Doesn't sound very good at all. Uh, OK, contestant number two. Um, no offence, but you do sound a little bit old. Won't my won't friends laugh at me if I pick you? Well, Julia, I may be a bit older, but I was made with care. There's thousands of top like Tallulah on the high street, but I am unique. Why wear something new when you can pick something as beautiful and old as me? Oh, 